In this video, I want to talk about how to create categorical or dummy variables in Jump and a couple of pitfalls to be mindful of if you want to include uh, the new set of variables in a regression analysis. So this is our Corolla data set. And here we have a variable called fuel type. As we can see that uh, this is coming out as a categorical variable or a nominal variable. We have three different levels uh, of cars with fuel type. Now, in general, if we include this in regression, Jump will automatically treat this as a categorical variable, but sometimes it may be useful to create separate categories for each of these uh, fuel types. So doing that in Jump is really easy. We select the column we want to uh, transform into individual categories, then go to column, and then click on utilities. And here we see this option to make indicator columns and we select that. Um, here we can say append column name. So if we do that, then we will have fuel type dash diesel, fuel type dash patrol, etc. So let's just append uh, column names and click OK. And here we get three different columns, fuel type underscore CNG, fuel type underscore diesel, and fuel type underscore patrol. Now, one thing to be careful of, now this is what we call one-hot encoding, where we have uh, each category uh, into a separate categorical or dummy variable. But if you were to include this in regression, you have to be mindful of one thing. Here, uh, we only need two of these variables to explain what the fuel type is. Because if, for example, our car has zero for diesel and zero for petrol, it must be a CNG. So if you include all three, then we will run into what we call a dummy variable trap. So in a regression analysis, you would exclude one category as the base category or the reference category, and then include the other two. So um, it could be the first level, in this case, CNG. It could also be the category which is least prevalent. In this case, also, this happens to be CNG. So in our regression analysis, we would exclude CNG, include fuel type diesel and petrol, and then our regression results would be interpreted with reference to uh, the car type being CNG.